All right, guys, I may be in a whole lot of trouble here. So let me plant a couple of excuse seeds early and tell you why I think I might be in so much trouble. Uh, first of all, I got two locks from Polyclef in a box about a week ago. And since then, I've gotten several emails from him saying, do the sergeant first, which kind of leads me to believe that there's some extra loving that he put inside of this sergeant lock as opposed to the other one. So a brand new, beautiful, very high dollar uh, perfect condition sergeant asset alloy padlock. Don't often see that. So big clue when you combine the emails with the brand new lock and then you take a look at the at the core face, you see that he's grounded off. Again, he's taken away a piece of the puzzle. Usually I can take a look at the core face and I can say, you know, look at the stamp and it, you know, it'll say ASA or, you know, some other brand name on there. He's taken that piece of the puzzle away from me. Now, it is a pretty wide open keyway, so that's always a good thing. And I, I don't see any weirdness in there, which might indicate that this was a medico lock. So I've still got a possibility to get inside of there. Next thing is um, a keychain. So I'm really starting to suspect that Polyclef is a professional locksmith. This was in a sealed bag, like he threw it in there as kind of like one last little bit of intimidation with this challenge lock. So let me go ahead and put this thing in a vise and find out just how much trouble I am in. Come on. Brand new rat yoke. I got it before he went on his latest overseas trip. And again, these pins are not talking. What in the heck is going on? Ah. All right, guys. That actually was, let me turn this thing off. That was actually my fourth try. So I've got 40 minutes invested in this lock and I have nothing from it. The reason I went on the fourth try, I don't usually do that. Usually I limit myself to just three tries of 10 minutes each for a total of 30 minutes. But on the third attempt on this one, um, I was raking it and I got the tiniest of fault sets. And that was my very first indication that I was getting anywhere with this lock. But I didn't get through it on the third try, so I decided to go one more, give it 40 minutes. Total failure. Um, it is a, definitely a whip. I've already pre-staged to lock, so Polyclef, you're going to get this um, block lock from that was donated by Packlock from the Lock Lab because this is now a whipped video. Now we get to find out what's inside of here. Um, as I said, I got like nothing. These pins were just not talk in at least any language that I understood. So I do have the key off to the side here. It's still in its mummied wrapper. Let's go ahead and throw in the towel and cut our way into this. Wow, that's a mummy job if I've ever seen one. Wow. All right, my camera has been going so long in HD, I just noticed it's starting to show a temperature warning. But since I've already declared this as a whipped it, it doesn't really matter if I've got to turn this off and let the camera cool for a while. This is tough tape, man. Where'd you get this? This is armored Kevlar tape. All right, exactly what you would want to see on a challenge lock. It doesn't get any more extreme than that. I mean, we literally have the whole gamut here of the highs and the lows, both, all extremes. I don't see anything else. We got a little groove on the side here. I did not feel anything on the side, but I've got a feeling that there's something inside of this lock that you have to manipulate. That doesn't, 
Here's another one up here. Hmm, let's see if it works. I hope it doesn't work, and that way I can beat this into a pulp. It works perfectly, and I mean no dragging. It is perfect. It is key retaining, and there is an Allen screw in there. All right, my camera is giving me serious overheat signals, but let's keep going. And if it stops, it stops. I'll just have to redo, I'll have to pick up later when the camera cools off a little bit. Let's see if this is the right size. Nope. 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 Okay, what do we have here? Why do we have these slots in the side of this thing? What happens when we take that out of there? I don't... Ah. There's a locking detent right here. How in the world? And it's hidden behind the pin, too. So what happens when we slide this in there? Get in there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. So when I slide the key in, look at that. It just drops down out of the body to allow it to turn. Isn't that something? And I wonder, does that have anything to do with, yeah, it's got to do with this guy right here. So there's, there might be another one in the back, but I don't see any cutout for it. Very cool. So why is it on the other side? There's no detent on the other side. It's only on that side. What a cool idea. Even if I got everything picked. So apparently this thing was binding. This was binding first, which was probably explains why I was not getting any feedback from those pins. All right, that is very nicely done. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy apart. I would not have expected that. <laughs> Obviously, I never had a chance. I wasted 40 minutes <laughs> on this thing. Come off of there. There we go. Okay, give me that key. Spin that like so. And I have no idea what's going to happen when that detent pops out of there. Let me find a good follower here with a hollow tail piece. Um, there's an awfully big gap back there, so I should probably throw a shim in it. I can hear you guys right now. Get in there. Okay. Pretty good. I'm going to hold my thumb because that detent, it might very well pop out. I don't know. It's almost like a sidebar here. We have a couple of things going on. We have this little guy, and it looks like there's something else in there. And I don't know what that is. It is a sidebar. All right, I'm gonna hold my thumb on it. I'm gonna pull that key out. Okay. Okay, he's, he's trapped in there somehow. He's not coming out. So this is spring-loaded. So this must be the spring. Yeah, there we go. 
this is the spring that pushes this little detent up into the body. I was wondering how that happened. So the key actually pulls him down. So let's go ahead and pull these pins out, take a look. Standard, 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 and standard. I'm still curious about that little detent. I would really like to know how that works. Uh, I think I know how it works. There's got to be something protruding into the keyway in the back that levers it down and allows it to be levered, fulcrumed down into the slot on the key. How clever is that? That is very cool. So, if I had known it was there, could I have gotten it? Or is it buried up in there somewhere? Looks like it's buried up in there. Oh well. Man, oh man. Okay, all standards. I bet it's all standards. Everything in here is probably standard. We got trying to fight that detent for 40 minutes. All right, let's see what we have. Um, I'll try not to let it fall down inside of the tube, but if it does, it's a solid bottom, so we're good. All right, we have a, all right, a spool. Not that I ever felt it, but there is a spool. Another spool. And these are sized appropriately to keep the length on each of the cylinders the same length. So I think we can confirm Polyclef is indeed a locksmith. Again, a shorter one to keep the length standard. And that'll keep the feedback on the springs standard too. All right, maybe we can go this way and get the last two. Oh, that was a giant one. And number five, spool. All spools. Every single one of those was a spool. Um, let me just dump the springs here. And they are all the same springs. Again, not that it made any difference. I, Unless you knew that detent was in the back of that lock, and that would require some inside knowledge or perhaps a look at the key so you can kind of know there's something unusual, you would never, you would never be able to pick those pins. You could put all standard pins in there and I still wouldn't have had a, a chance of getting into it. Anyway, fellas, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Poly Clef, beautiful job. And this is in the mail. I'm going to put this all back together and send it back to you as well. This is a really expensive lock and I wouldn't feel right keeping it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, off camera, I've had a little bit more time to take a really good look at this uh, detent and how it's actuated. And I'm, I'm amazed. This is just such precision. All right, how does it work? Well, there is a tiny little detent in the back. We had already figured that out, but we didn't really realize how tiny it was. I, I knew where it was, and it still took me a while to figure out how to trigger it. So you'd have to have a pick that would go in from the bottom, almost like a flag pick, You'd have to know where that little detent was. You feel around back there, and there you go. And then you can get him to detent. Then you can turn the core, it becomes unlocked, and then it starts binding on these six pins. Now there's something else we need to take a look at. I questioned why we had another cutout here. All right, so let's say that we knew where that detent was. We overcame him. We bound on the six pins, we got all six of those picked, and then we rotated our core. Watch what happens when it reaches this side. When he comes over here, again, there's nobody pushing that lever down. If the key were there, he would stay depressed. But because we picked him, now he pops up into that additional slot, and the lock is now trapped. What a design. I don't know if Polyclef came up with this, or if this is a new ASA Abloy design, but whoever came up with it, genius. Absolute genius. 
this, we're going to have to take up crocheting or something, guys, because lockpicking, they're coming up with so many new tricks. It's hard to keep track. Anyway, appreciate your time, guys. Hold on. Before you leave, click that subscribe button. And while you're there, click that notification bell as well. If you'd like to be a sponsor, click there. And for five bucks a month, you get all kinds of benefits. If that's not enough free stuff, hit the lock lab. We've got a self-paced lockpicking course with over a dozen modules at the bottom of the page. Join the tribe. Subscribe.